What's going on guys, Bryce Crispy 94 here bringing you another mini painting video. And it is here. We are finally going to be tackling this wonderful dragon that I have had for months now uh, printed up. It is in pieces. I got body and head and wings, tail, and the base. Um, here, let's go ahead and make this look like this so you guys can see here so this is the base um it's largely going to remain unchanged probably just hit with the can of gray primer um some wash over a lot of black wash over it to help distinguish that it is rocks but i mean it's just gray bricks i might i kind of want to do some green wash on it as well maybe on the cobblestone parts or the underneath to give the rocks a moldy look. So I think that'll look cool. Um, this is filler. I'm experimenting with green stuff to fill gaps. Was not very successful on this, but the rest of the model, uh, I did well. Um, so here's the tail and this piece. These are actually gonna be primed in all black. Uh, and the reason for that is this dragon, which is a sh Ch Chandelin Dragon, Chandelin Dragon, something like that. Uh, it's from Icewind Dale. Um, this model is printed by Lord of... Or, sorry, not printed by... It was printed by me, but it was designed by uh, Lord of Print on my mini factory. Uh, I think it was like 11 bucks. Um, the actual Icons of the Realms version of this is like $70 for the painted figure. So I was like, ah, uh, this looks exactly like it, so I'm going to grab it. Uh, this is known as the Armored Dragon on his channel. Or on his channel, his uh, page. So if you do want to buy it, go check that out. Again, my mini factory, yeah, my mini factory, Lord of the Print. Uh, link will be in the down there. But yeah, so the the tail comes. Uh, how does the tail go on this guy? Something like like that. There we go. Yeah. So yeah, it's gonna be a pretty big figure. Um, the wings here are also very large. Again, green stuff for the gapage. A little bit of blue stuff that didn't get mixed up. I need to shave this one down a little bit because there's some pieces hanging off of it. Um, the wings are the only things I'm going to gray prime because this is purple, and I think the gray prime or the purple will show up better over the gray primer than the black primer. Uh, but again, these dragons are very light in color, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the dragon scales, which yeah, these knight scales here after I get this blackened with the primer and just gonna kinda go over it as well as add some highlights in some areas and then I don't have the orange paint out but like it's eyes and these pieces in the mouth here they are um, an orangish yellow color so I'm gonna do that there's some other areas that will also be that orangish yellow but yeah I mean that's gonna be it for this beginning so let's get to painting all right guys we are back and as you can tell the dragon is black now it's not finished that is just the prime but since it's mostly black I was decided to prime it in prime um, I have the base here which is gray which will also stay mostly gray but that's besides the point I forgot to grab the wings here are the wings uh, they are now gray um, and I'm gonna go ahead and break down discuss what's going to be painted what so let me get everything out of the way here we'll start with the actual dragon itself um, I figure it would be easier to paint in two pieces rather than you know this whole thing I almost wish I would have waited to glue it but I knew there were going to be some gaps, like there's a gap here that I had to fill with some uh, green stuff, some other gaps on the legs, but the tail, from the looks of it, it won't gap to where I'm going to need to fill it, so that's nice. And same with the wings, they should um, glue on pretty well. I'm a little scared of how, the, how hard it's going to be to get the wings to actually stay. Um, so that, eh, we'll see. I wish they had a peg piece, but they don't. But anyway, so, for our dragon. He's going to be painted with night scales. Um, 
because he's black, I should be able to just pretty much do one coat of night scales over him to give him that nice shiny metallic look from the metal. Uh, then I have not 100% decided yet, but I think I'm going to use this dungeon stone to do some edge highlights, which is something I don't normally do, but I think they would look good on this figure. Uh, so I'm going to attempt that. Next we have the Fire Newt Orange. Um, that really matches, so the inside here of his face, like where it looks like in a knight's helmet, um, as well as his eye, some of the vents on his side, and actually like the inner workings like here on his neck will be in that Fire New Orange uh, more on the belly as well, because uh, it's going to give that kind of fiery look inside of him. Same goes for the tail with the scales. The gray and then that fiery orange going throughout the bins. Next we'll talk about the wings. So here are the two wings. Um, they will be painted. They are I spray primed them in gray. Uh, so we're gonna use matte black to match the rest of this. So once the wings are painted, they'll dry and then I'll run over them with the night scales. Um, we have a purple worm that I'm going to darken a little bit to do the inner of the wings because in the book it is this kind of like purple leathery material that makes up the wings. Because this is a construct. It's not a real dragon. It's a construct. Um, silly putties out there. It's fun to play with. <laughs> um, so yeah, that the wings are pretty simple. Um, now the base. For the base, I'm mostly going to leave it this color gray, um, and then I'm going to be adding some heavy amounts of black wash to this stone and brown wash, and I think, I haven't decided yet, I think I'm going to use brown wash on the stone down here, or maybe a green wash, to give that stone kind of a moldy look, but then the bridge stone will be a dark look. And I'll probably do the mold here. So the creature, or the dragon, sits like this. So you won't really see that as much. But I kind of like that purple reflection from my lights off of it. Um, that looks cool. But yeah, uh, going to be epic to paint. We are going to start with this. And then we'll move on. Um to the tail base will be last wings next and then I will show off the pieces once they are finished um, individually and then I will show off the model completely glued because I'm assuming I'm gonna have to touch up on the glue because I'm not very good at cluing stuff but yeah that is going to be it for this little introduction so let's get to paint all right, real quick introduction here before I actually start uh, painting. Because I was going over it and I was looking. And I was just doing a little bit of test painting before I decided to click the record button. Um, so you can see I've already got... Oh, my palette just fell over. Uh, you can see I've got some of the uh, metallic there. You can see the difference between the blacks. So I really like that. You can see I started doing some of the um, inner workings there. Uh, definitely needs cleaned up with black but this is about four coats so and it's got a long way to go and I'm like as soon as I put the first coat down I'm like oh I am not going to record for four hours of just me putting coat after coat after coat so that will probably all be off cam um, and maybe I'll show me touching it up because I was a little sloppy and I got some yellow where it doesn't belong. Um, I think it looks good from like this angle though. Also, uh, I was looking in the Rhyme of the Frost Maiden book here and I noticed uh, its mouth does not actually light up. So I'm not going to do that because I'm painting this accurate to the Frostmaiden book. And my chair just kind of broke on me. So I shrunk. Um, so yeah. So 
I will go ahead and stop with the gloss. I just kind of wanted to see what that was, and I squared it enough to do that leg. Um, but yeah, the the yellow underbelly, and then the tail here because the tail has a lot that will be yellow all the way through. Um, I mean, all that. I don't think anything here on the actual like spike part of it. Um, will be done off cam and again I'll probably just show me polishing it up and I'll do the wings all on cam as well as the base so yeah now let's get to painting
All right, everybody, it is finished. It's not put together, but I want to go over the end of it. Eh, the individual pieces um, before I actually glue it together, just so we can, you know, kind of dissect it. All right, because once it's together, it ain't coming apart. So um, I got here the base, uh, which you saw at the end of the speed up. Um, it does look a little different. I did go ahead and paint the bottom and the actual black ring off cam as well as I added a black wash over the gray. It's gonna give it that darkened look. Um, I think I might have added some more dry brushing to the bottom here that I didn't do in the video, but a lot of it was just dry brushing and wash because, I mean, it is gray and that was the original, I mean, that was the color I wanted, so I didn't spend a lot of time actually videoing this. Um, the same goes for the actual dragon itself, which I'll bring out. Uh, actually, we'll save it for last. We'll, we'll do the wings. Um, so I think... Yeah, this wing. Uh, and it doesn't show up on cam. But there's really bad mold lines uh, from my res or layer lines from the resin. And... I don't know. There. There you can kind of see them a little better in the light. Um... And so there's just, they're super visible now that I've put the wash and the paint on and that makes me a little sad. Other than that, I think the wash turned out fantastic. It gives these wings that worn look I was going for. Um, especially since, you know, they're ripped. But yeah. I wish I was able to get, and it's, it's better on this, this line here where the wings were two separate pieces. Uh, I think it's the other wing that's the worst. There is a little bit of a gap right there, but what can you do? Um, now, as far as the metallic goes, you definitely cannot see it as much on camera. It's okay, especially since I did it so haphazardly. I was just, you know, slapped a layer on because I didn't want it to be really shiny, but I wanted you to get the idea that this thing is made of metal. And in person, I can see it a lot better uh, trying to get some reflex, uh, maybe the dragon, the actual dragon will show it off more. Uh, oh yeah, there's the, the big gap. Oop, dropped it. Um, this wing, it turned out really well, especially right through here. I like how that wash turned out. There is a spot there I don't like and a spot up here, uh, as well as here, this section of the wing. I don't know why, but the wash decided to clump really bad. And yeah, it, it makes me sad because I'm like, why? Nowhere else did it do that. It was just on that section. I don't know if I put too much or what, but. So those are the wings. Bring in the tail. There, you can kind of, you can see it a lot better on the tail. Um, just that, that shimmer. That is the uh, metallic. There's the yellow which i will never paint yellow on black again <laughs> um but i didn't see i guess i could have i took the lazy way out and i primed it all black because it was a black dragon i'm like okay i can just paint the yellow on but whew, God, it took a while so that was the tail um but I mean, I don't think it turned out terrible. I like the way it looks. Could have gone a little darker in that section there. Actually, I don't even know how yellow got there. I'm like soaked in there, but um, I don't think it turned out bad, but it was just so many layers. Um, and I didn't show that on cam because of how many layers it was to get it how I wanted it. And then I had to go back through and repaint black along the edges in some spots. Cause like this was stained yellow. That was no matter how careful I was, it just like, ugh. But yeah, so there is our dragon. Um, I'm gonna cut real quick. Will be real quick for you guys. It'll be a few hours for me cause I'm gonna start gluing it together and then I will bring us back when it is done. All right, it's glued together. Um, I will say it, it's not on the stand yet. 
And the reason for that is, well, I wanted to show it off a little bit, you know, more fully. And also, I cannot get, oh, it's so big, um, the feet to line up right on this. And I don't think it, yeah, it doesn't actually sit. But, so, <laughs> it's huge. Turned out super well, though. Like, let me pause real quick. I'm going to go get uh, one of the dragons from back there. Okay, back. Um, so, dragon. Let's go full screen here this comparison so um, unpainted white dragon from WizKids Chartalin dragon from Lord of Print yeah Lord of Print honestly way about the same this one might actually be a little lighter but it is hollow which this is not that down over there. Go back to the show off here. But yeah, incredible figure. It looks great. It's going to be amazing sitting back there on my shelf with the other dragons. Um, very fun experience. Big painting. Never painted something this large before but yeah again uh, Board of a Print is the 3D modeler that I got this from uh, you can find him on my manufacturing <laughs> and I will leave a link in the down there but uh, I hope you enjoyed this one it has been a couple weeks in the making honestly um, whew, that took a while did oh I I do want to say I used the purple tone on the wings. I forgot to say that earlier. Instead of the shadow wash like I originally was going to do. That purple tone was clutch. But that is going to be it for this massive painting video. Thank you everyone who stuck around to see the finished product. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.